All right, welcome everyone to today's live stream for Empyrean. Now, uh, I did change a couple things up. Uh, I do have my mic in a new place, so hopefully everything sounds good today. I'm trying to do some adjusting on my audio, on my microphone audio at least, and hopefully we won't have a disconnect like we did last week. Not guaranteeing that. It was, you know, problem with my internet provider, uh, but hopefully it'll be good today. And we are back with Empyrean for some fun here with the new base, you know, full alpha release of eight. And you see, I've got a good bit more copper. I've cleared actually the resource deposits down that way that we found last episode, other than this iron deposit. And hey, Operator Hoot, thank you, Can Can, for that. So everything sounds good so far. That's good to know. But yes, we, I've already cleared everything here, and I actually have gotten a bit more wood logs going. I've got both of these producing, so it works. Hey, Excalibur. And we have a good bit of time right now, an hour and 41 minutes of use. And as you can see, I've got a good bit still left in my construction queue for all of this. So let's go ahead and toss in some more fuel. So I have plenty here in the base, and I'm actually in need of some iron. So we're going to be getting that today, because I am out of, or pretty much, yeah, I'm out of iron ore. Yeah, I used up every bit I could to make a hover vessel at Scalibur's own drill pup. So I've got the drill pup made. And I also made a sniper rifle here on number two, my second hotkey. And I've got my assault rifle. And I had to do a lot of hunting. I have hunted a lot of alien bugs all over the place and other things to reach level 10 so I could use the drill pup and start using it for gathering up all the trees and everything. And fortunately, I don't think I've got any on the way, but I have been getting steady drone attacks from this direction uh pretty consistent it went one drone two drones three drones and then instead of getting stuck like it was in experimental it's actually constant so uh if it doesn't happen in the next few minutes i'll probably will get one easily at some point in this stream if not two or three instances of drones being sent this way uh, i have plenty of food going now you can see i've got some good canned vegetables going I've got some other supplies because I gathered a lot of stuff. And as you can see, I've got a full set of grow plots over here. Everything's planted there. I've got this group over here started. The spice is ready, but the peppers are not. So I'm going to pause for those. But we do have <laughs> a bunch of stuff to do today. I've got plenty I can do. Uh, first thing is I think I want to head towards the Titan. We need to go explore in that direction and the titan's out that way somewhere there's an alien tower there so i've got these small wreckages got some other things i still need to stop get some iron somewhere make some more bullets because i have none right now for the uh hover vessel for the drill pup and i have nothing really to make that much in bullets. Uh, I think I can make a little bit from my crushed stone, but not much. I'm not going to make very many. And I'm going to go ahead and dump some more in on this. So I have plenty of production going. Grab some food. I think we're just going to take my stack of salami here that I have been making. And we're going to load up and hopefully go. Yes, it is the Sanctuary ST by Jay Randall. It's one I've done a review on, and I just happen to like it that much. It's a perfect fit for me. So we're going to... Let's see, I need to pop one of my fridges open, dump this in for now. And don't need my harvest right now, so we're going to get going. I've got only 3% on this, so I probably do need to gather up some more <laughs> trees on the way. But yeah, we're at least going to start heading in that direction, see what we can do. Yes, thank you, Who It is a fantastic single-player base. Works perfectly, especially for the cost level. Uh, very cheap to build early in the game. 
and gives you plenty of capabilities two size of farming plots you know just plenty of stuff you can do with it he does have a bigger variation the uh sanctuary some sanctuary something i can't remember now off the top of my head but it's a little bit bigger very big internal hangar bay but obviously more costly too As you can see, I've got plenty of uh, wood laws going already now for this, so we should be all right. I did think, hey, Jonathan, uh, yes, and thank you, Excalibur Sanctum Installation. I did actually think about trying to hold out and build uh, the K-Bar as my first hover vessel, but it's much more costly. It lacks the drill turret and everything because I wouldn't be at that unlock level yet I'd have to wait a few more levels so we're going to use this for now I'll either replace it completely with a K bar hover vessel or replace it only partially and actually let me get the uh, harvest lights on make it a little easier to see all these trees I'm bumping into but I do want to eventually use Excalibur's K bar vessel to basically be our roam all over the planet type thing and see what we find I have 2.4 minutes of power left on this right now I need to go ahead and dump some stuff in for power generation or there we go I think it's yes that one And we're just going to let go. Oh. Uh, I really don't need to worry about farming food right now. I've pretty much got enough grow plots going at the moment, uh, Jonathan. I am going to be farming fuel. I also want to get out here and get uh, food. Or uh, no, iron. I need iron. I need iron, which is that way, uh, so I can make some more <laughs> ammunition for my gun, or more for the turrets mainly on this, because we're, I'm sure we're going to run into at least a drone or two at the crashed Titan front part there that we're heading towards. they would fix these make them a little easier to harvest the bushy trees all right we are right on top of this iron deposit so it's time to switch directions and there we go All right, now we'll start with clearing these little boulders out. Yeah. Uh, the harvester broke surface rocks before? I didn't think it did. I never really tried using it for that. It doesn't seem like it would, it's like that would dull the blades a little bit too much or to then harvest trees correctly. Apparently, I am too far over, too. Oh, and I'm out of power now. Yep, I'm out of power already. We'll go ahead and just dump 10 in. 4.3 minutes. I am not generating enough power right now, I don't think. Yeah, I, I, it's a good thing they removed the harvester breaking rocks, because that seems like it would be damaging to the harvester blades. All right, I'm backing up if I can. I think I'm going the right direction.
At least I'm, oh, now I'm getting some iron ore. There we go. At least I am getting crushed stone as well. That's always helpful. I feel like I'm going to be stuck in here this time. I'm having trouble maneuvering. Can't really see. Uh. can't really turn very well right now either. Ah, oh, fun. This is always the fun part of this. I did a lot of farming this week, or mining this week, drilling out stuff with the hand drill, trying to get enough resources to build this. All right, let's, I, I'm getting crushed on. I can't seem to maneuver well enough to get out. I'm stuck. I think I'm stuck. Hey, I'll just hold O down and eventually clear enough room around me to fly out. Oh. Uh. I am so ready to get an auto miner. Just cannot wait to have an auto miner. And we haven't actually gone to any real points of interest yet in this one, so I'm wondering if I'm going to be as lucky as I apparently was the last playthrough in the experimental stage where I got, I think it was like 23 auto miner cores before I even made it halfway around the planet. Uh, I'm flipping again. So has everybody checked out the Steam Summer Sale yet? Has anybody gone on there and bought anything interesting yet? Or anybody got a game they think is interesting and it's on the sale? I'm looking for some new games to check out. I've actually found one I am very interested in trying out, not for YouTube, but for Twitch. It's more of a fighting game, but it's a space fighting game. It's like Empyrean itself, it's more focused on the combat mechanics and I'm out of power again again no, no out of power only eight produced in that time I am going to need to go and get some more power shortly I'm sure yeah now I did see uh, PUBG is on sale but I've also seen that a lot of the recent reviews for it are really negative there are some really bad reviews coming out for it right now. Probably people that are, you know, just mad more people are playing Fortnite. Uh, is Raft on uh, the Steam Summer Sale? I don't remember seeing that one at Scalibur. Now, I was looking at... Uh, God, I can't remember. It's like Z Zero Space or Exospace, something like that. It's a ship, you know, combat game. It's a space combat game. And it looks really good. Graphics look great. And it's only like $10. So I was really thinking of that. I did also notice that... Uh, Conan Exiles is on sale. And I know some people have asked me about playing that. Even though it is not a sci-fi spacey game. It is still a survival game, you know, building game, but also they have Fallout 4, the whole set. You can get the game of the year for, I think it was 50% off right now. And it's an older game, but another one people have asked me to play. I need an ore detector. I have an ore scanner and I have a detector, Jonathan Cole. It's I'm already got everything I need. I just can't maneuver well enough to find the uh, visible ore and harvest it as well. I think I'm upside down, actually. 
I may have to try and finish this one off on foot. I'm down like 20% on it. There we go. There's my way out. I think I'm going to use the drone to try and finish this. Uh, detector is on the vehicle, Jonathan. It's already built onto it by Excalibur, our illustrious creator of this. Oh. I heard. Where is he? Where is he? There's a... There's a buggy. We got a bug. There they are. I think. Oh, that's plants. I heard an alien bug. And I could use a little bit more experience, so... All right, let that go, and we're going to drone this the rest of the way. Oh. Oh, there you are. Well, first, let's take care of you. Ah, oh, come on. Don't want to stay for some fun? And I'm out of power again. I should have brought more with me. All right, let's get the last of this so I can go. Uh, don't buy Fallout, okay. What about Conan Exiles? It's got a lot of mixed reviews, but I see a lot of people playing Conan Exiles. Seems to be, I mean, it's, I know it's a popular game. I've watched a few people live stream a few times and it looks interesting, but same time, uh, I don't know if the single player style holds up as well as the multiplayer and I am much more of a single player in regards to that style of game I'm not looking for something that I'm going to have to play multiplayer and that's the only way to do it uh, and while Conan Exiles is supposed to have single player I want to make sure it's going to play well enough Oh, of course, I'm out of fuel. I used up all my biofuel powering this. And I did not come as well prepared as I should have on this. Uh, okay. I thought I was all prepared, ready to go today, and uh, yeah, I didn't bring enough biofuel. Buy Conan. Build a big base, fill it with redheads. <laughs> Why is it redheads? Uh, do redheads have more fun in that game than blondes or brunettes? Or do the redheads do something special for you? It gets a bit monotonous mid-game. I'm sure it does, Hoot. I mean, technically... This can get monotonous mid-game, even Imperium, because once you get to a certain point, you're just kind of going to another planet, and like, oh, I gotta get all these resources now, and uh, again, the same old deploy all these, go around, here's another matching point of interest, so really, there, I'm not worried about that, I just want something that I know I can play, it'll be fun for me, and fun for people who want to watch me play it. Get a mod that makes it where bosses do not have multiplayer levels of health. So, I, I'm assuming that's considered a bug then if you play single player and the boss is still at like it's multiplayer. <laughs> I feel like with a open world game such as that, it's hard to truly define an endpoint. Especially something that big. Now, the forest is not as big in space. And it has a defined endpoint with the storyline where you reach a point of no return. You can't come back if you go past that point. Uh, and it's a limited map size. It's not like this. You know, it's not like a limited map size. Empyrean, there is no real end game. You just keep going until you kind of run out of planets. Uh, or get tired of farming the same old planets.
I think my end game for this, if we do not have to start over with a new map at some point because of a change to the terrain generation uh, element of the game, I think my ultimate plan on this is to build as big and bulky and you know expensive most expensive cv in the end that i can and just have a massive uh, amount of stuff on it and let me see what my constructor is doing there we go we've got some more fuel oh one minute one minute got enough got enough i think I think I've cleared enough space now I can actually get into that little section there. I'm going to try to bore out a little bit from this side. Uh, Empyrean story? I don't know. It's really kind of hard to say because obviously it's going to have something to do with the alien artifacts you find. But the way some stuff acts... And oh, I'm getting really laggy for a second there. I'm not sure what is happening. And it's, okay, it's lagging up in my first person view. Uh, but yeah, the Empyrean story, I fully expect it's going to be something to do with the alien uh, buildings, something with that. Like, hey, we found alien technology, which surprisingly. Nobody already found on these planets. I mean, you got Xerats here. You got all these other, you know, technically factions, I guess, here. And uh, they have their own outposts and everything. You're acting kind of like you don't, I mean, like, oh, it's Xerats. Like, you're enemies with them. I guess there's maybe a war, some kind of thing like that. Humans and Xerats. Something in that regard, because how can you say... You know, the Xerats are everybody's enemies, or they're undiscovered because you've got trading outposts that don't seem to mind the Xerats being nearby. You got all these other alien species that ha seem to have no interest in you. I don't know. I really don't know how they're going to take the storyline. I mean, maybe they decide the storyline ends when you leave your first planet and after that it's just kind of like here have fun do whatever just keep going all right that's 10 percent left i am losing too much power i need some more <laughs> fuel uh yeah i think we're gonna go back and steal some of my fuel out of the base or not out of the base itself but get some from the constructor there before we head any further and that means on the way back I need to get more trees so we're just gonna do that real quick grab some trees on the way back to the sanctuary to stock up hopefully on a bunch of biofuel Xerax enslaved the villagers that would make sense though I mean how are they going to handle that? What if you decide you don't like the villagers? You you want to help the Xerats? Do you get an option of choosing sides? Alright. Bunch of these uh, deep forest trees, the uh, rainforest trees, whatever they are called can't remember what we found them to be named last week. I'm getting some real glitchiness like on my rendering right now. I don't know why. It didn't do this to me last night when I was getting caught up on some of this. And I'm not using that much on my CPU. All right, we're just going to park for a second. Let me get some more fuel in this. Leave this making more fuel. The nice thing is my placement right here. I do have a very easy ramp spot to come up. And land on top with this. All right. 
we are going to I'm gonna leave the power running so it can make some more biofuel with its constructor while we're here and actually while it's doing that let me go ahead and let me check something over here let me make sure nothing's going on that I'm causing this weird lagginess maybe that will help Not going to be too vocal for a bit. Well, you know, if you feel like talking Jet Set, just, you know, hop on the Discord and start chatting away there. We do have the Empyrean chat room. Alright. I am going to dump one pack of 50 in here. That should get... That's four hours. That's four hours right there. And, oh yeah, I'm out of food on that. We'll take couple cans just in case oh there we go drones are on the way to attack the base so we'll actually stick around for a minute so I can do that uh, how do you contact me for spotlight request you can send it over discord join the discord through the link below if you haven't done that uh, and send me a private message on discord you can DM me on Twitter. Uh, I would say use the messaging on YouTube, but they are about to end that feature in a couple of weeks, two, three weeks. So yeah, best bet is Discord message or the uh, Twitter DM. So send me it there and I'll put it on my list. If you put it in a comment on a video, I cannot guarantee I'll get to it at the right time that I can add it to my list and remember to do it. So best bet is a Twitter DM or a Discord message if you want to get me for that. And let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, there we go. I had a lot more meat. This is a pile of 20 raw meat that I just decided to let spoil uh, because I had enough going already anyways. And I need some more plants over here. So we got one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have an extra durian plant. Oh, well. All right. So, there we go. We'll let that go while I wait on these drones to show up. Uh, let's see. Uh, drones should be coming from right through that area. It's the way they've come every time so far. They never get close enough for me to actually shoot them. It's always my turrets taking them down, which is fine. And I'm out of power again. Let's see. There we go. 50. I've got 18% of power. And, uh... There we go. We're going to take that. I've got... Ooh, you know what? I am going to be grabbing a bunch more wood logs on the way. So we'll just go ahead and take that too. So a lot of iron I've got now. So I can make some more bullets. There we go. Put half here. Half here. And, uh, what? What is it they use for the turrets on here? Is it three millimeter? Oh, I overshot my landing. 15 millimeter bullet. Ah, oh, all right. I was a little too much on the size there. So we need some 15 millimeter bullets. And, uh, oh, I know I didn't unlock it yet, did I? Let's see. Yeah, I need to unlock the turret just so I can make the bullets. Thirty millimeter for cannon. This one's fifteen, so there we go. And that's a hundred, so we'll go with a thousand. There we go. Should be enough. Now, unless these uh, drones now decide to glitch with me being live, they should be showing up any moment now. See, of course, I'm also in a nice spot here where there's almost no trees on this spot. 
a lot of planes, a lot of parasaurs who are surprisingly very prone to getting stuck and not moving at all. Uh, and making it very easy to kill them for meat or experience points. They're quite useful up here. Especially when you have a herd of them and three of the herd get stuck in place. So, watching for the drones. They should be... Can't tell if that's one there or if that's just like a tree type thing showing up right there at the edge. Maybe that's part of the tower. <gasps> there we go. So the drones are not glitching now with everybody watching. We've got three of them. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I need to... Actually, let me check. I'm still good on my bullets for this. And apparently they had to reload for a moment. Well, that's three drones I get supplies from. Let's go grab the bullets. For my hover vessel and we're gonna be on the way thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit drew see you next time or you know next video you watch with me there we go all right I should be good to go now uh, which which fridge was it there we go get me a little bit of food eat some salami oh you know what I should take advantage of this there we go I finally healed I forgot I had a healing station there and I finally went and put it to you so I'm healthy now uh, back to this we're going to fill this up there we go 1000 turn my thrusters back on Let's go get these drones cleared so I have some supplies from them. So, oh, look at that. Nice grouping. Just all right there together. You know, I don't have to do much to collect everything. There we go. Alright, I've been getting a lot of the minigun rounds. That does help a little bit in the factory, but not by much. Much more Perithium packs, so that's useful. Okay, now, seriously this time, on the way to the crashed Titan. With plenty of fuel, I've got, I say plenty of fuel, I've got 17 minutes worth. Dropped in 50 biofuel and I've only got 17 minutes worth of biofuel. Hello, Danielle! Thank you for joining us. Oh, and I see a copper rock there. I am not going to worry about the 10% on that uh, iron deposit. You know what? Let's see. Hey, it works! I didn't think that would work. <laughs> that is completely surprising. The harvester module works to harvest out the parasaurs that is unexpected I mean technically it's a chainsaw on a wheel so it should work that way but oh wait wait oh you're stuck we got another one that got stuck in place farm biofuel on a massive scale uh, if you're talking about farming wood logs that's what I'm doing Jonathan if you're talking about planting like the fiber plants not worth it we've already tried that I did last round on this in the experimental alpha 8 you're you'd have to have a super massive farm to make it even worthwhile and it's just a lot of trouble to go and grab stuff like that so just going out and getting trees like this for wood logs works so much better greetings captain driftable Thank you for joining us. There we go. Alright. A little, little glitchy again. But not too bad. I see we've got something on the radar in that direction. But we're going to wait for a moment. I am going this way. 
towards the Titan. And I think that was some spiders right there. Huh. Uh, well, I would look for Promethium. I mean, I technically am exploring right now. We'll be looking for stuff like that. I'm sure I will find some Promethium. But in the end, also, if I, you know, burn through all my Promethium here, trying to do stuff too early in the game, it hurts me long run in terms of having better fuel for capital vessel. So I'm trying to stick to biofuel, which is pretty much what the developers clearly want you to do now for your hover vessels earlier in the game. And also, we are doing the Robinson Protocol. So... Part of that is by following the different points it asks you to do, you'll find a Promethean deposit at some point. Alright. Keep seeing stuff popping up around me, but like I said, I want to focus on let's get some storyline going. Or what little bit of storyline we have right now. So we're going towards the Titan. Plus, the Titan will have things like thrusters. And thrusters, well, hopefully this will have thrusters. It might not. But if it has a couple of thrusters, it will give me some really good resources from that. Oh, and I actually am heading towards something. Got something marked in this direction uh, by the uh, detector. All right, here we go. Big jump. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes. Such a great jump. And uh, as far as making the core, who, I mean, really, all I need to be able to do is find the core and destroy the core that's there. Then I can start tearing it apart and get the resources, the raw materials out of it. Not so much the uh, items themselves. Plus, I don't have a uh, multi-tool right now, so I can't take the items out anyway. I just have that little survival tool thing and you know what there's something over here too and over there oh there's silicon uh there's the mid part so at least those parts are close together this time take out this drone we're out here heading towards the pole it looks like I feel like I'm being hunted from somewhere. Uh, something was being shot at, and there is some kind of thing over there. I think that is the back part of the Titan. I need to check my gun settings. I believe that is the back of the Titan. Yes, that's got to be the back. The back part, there we go. So I have found all of the Titan parts in one little string, which is interesting. Normally that hasn't happened to me. No, 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 stop that. Shoot the, the drone, not the ship. Shoot the drone. There we go, finally. All right, that's it. Turrets, you are being fixed. Where are you? All right, yes, we are taking out that, 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 and yeah, we'll leave the predators. Gotta watch out for those invisible predators. Okay, now, uh, th this HV, Captain Driftbull, is one of Excalibur's designs from the workshop, and am I stuck? 
I am stuck. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stuck on this thing. Okay, so apparently I'm having some major glitches happening at the moment. Uh... Okay, no, this is the Drill Pup by Excalibur, and normally it works great, but apparently they're having some problems now with one of the updates, I guess. Because I just got stuck on that tree. Okay. I'm free. I can move again. Uh, it's the Drill Pup Multi-Tool. Uh... I did a showcase on it. If I remember, I think it was this one. And you can find it. Uh, I'll show you. Drill Pup. Like that. Drill Pup Multi Tool. And just look for Excalibur's collection. He's got quite a few things in his collection. Alright, we got some Parasaurs there. I'm going to be out of bullets. It just keeps shooting every predator all around me apparently uh, all right maybe predators are a bad idea on this so all right let's look at this one because this is gonna have the good stuff it's excalibur is being a little quieter right now i think he's a little busy Thrusters off, leaving it to keep producing some more fuel. Yay, 19. <laughs> it made 19 packs of fuel in all that time. So yeah, this is... Alright, I hear you just crying over and over. Did you get st stuck or something? No, you're not stuck. Fine, here, here's what's going to happen. Jurassic World, yeah, right. I got this. Just let me go at him with a chainsaw. I'll take care of them all. <laughs> Alright, you... Oh, you don't want to leave your family? Uh, oh, you... You are still hearing some of them. Uh, Alright, all right. oh, there's one more over there. He's watched his whole family be slaughtered. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. They keep getting stuck. Either in open terrain or something like this where they just get stuck and they don't go running around anywhere. And easy to kill and give yourself a lot more experience from it. Alright, so thruster. Right there. Thruster and close. So yes, this is going to give me some good stuff. Supply wise. Once I find the core, and if it's like it was the last time I came through, then it shouldn't be that hard to find. Ah, some good supply boxes. Here we go. Ah, uh, drill module, or, you know, drill charge. One drill charge. It looks like Zascosium. Ah. All right, let's see. What was it? It was this one, wasn't it? Right here. Oh, <gasps> is it gone? Did they move it? I, I could swear this is where the core was before. Or I'm remembering it wrong. Maybe it was in here. Who remembers? Who remembers where the core was in this one? Somewhere around here. I got a spot I can drill. Make sure it's ground drill. There it goes. Oh, so I was right. It was there. It's just been moved somewhere else. I guess they figured that was too easy to find. Like, oh, you just, oh, you walk in this spot and it's right there. I remember at one point they used to have them all the way up in the top 
you know, command bridge area. Ah, something already happened here. All right, what do we got? We got a closet with a jetpack boost, which is nice. Almost fell there. Another closet with a EVA boost. Glass plate up in the command tower. Well, let's see. There it is. Yes. All right. Anything else? No. Okay. So, easy enough to find the core for this one. I'm sure the other ones are going to be buried somewhere deep in the ground. Make them a pain to get to. Oh, what we got? Shotgun. All right. And assault rifle tier two. Yes, yes, yes. That is what I'm talking about right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, salvage. That's right. Salvage mode. I'm burning through some stamina here, but I can at least get a few things out of this. Then come back later once I have a proper multi-tool. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about those. Let's take that. And, uh, I'll go find a thruster. Somewhere there's a thruster out this way. So. Yeah, I'm actually surprised I got a good drop on that, considering how I heard so many people say they I was really lucky compared to what they get in some cases. I figured that would be, you know, uh, nothing. But last time, my last playthrough, I was actually getting, what was it, you know, 23... All the minor cores. Bosses in the corridor. Get them. I will check on my way back. I know there's thrusters here. That's, or at least there were thrusters here. Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, and there was some RCS in this way too before. Or maybe it's not right here. Oh, you know, there's a spot I can get in that way. Okay. Uh, no, it was down this way then. There's a thruster somewhere in here. Oh, okay, so I didn't do the showcase on the drill pump. I just did it in the live streams. Well, my apologize about that because sometimes I forget which ones I've done. I can't remember if I've done them in here, if I've done them on the showcase. It, it, I do a lot, so <laughs> I get mixed up sometimes. Let's see. Uh... Still missing one feature in this game. The ability to crouch down. Hey, look. There's my drill pup. Uh, I feel like we need the ability to crouch. Especially since apparently the Xerax can crouch now, right? The RCS. Say there's up one here. No, there usually is one here. I'm just not seeing one right now. Just fly up I do like the new changes for that stuff where it looks like it's broken up that looks really good compared to what it used to look like the damage state appearance works a lot better now all right so there's the front part which is what we're actually supposed to be looting we're supposed to be looking at it for the story stuff All right, ah, cargo boxes. Yes, thank you for mentioning that. We'll check these real quick. Some biofuel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. So you uh, need to send something to the uh, factory. Let's just do this. We'll send that for now. Dump in the pistol rounds. That saves me some room there. I need to go back to my drill pup. Plenty of hidden root. Uh, we'll be looking for plenty of loot on this. And we are getting some subscribes right now while we got this going. Also, be sure to mention subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be sure to follow me on Twitch if you have a Twitch account. I do stream some different stuff on there, but I am trying to stream at least twice a week. 
And there it goes. I knew I knew it was about to do it. So yes, follow me on Twitch as well. That would help me out. And uh, trying to get some new games going for that too. Let's see. 17 minutes of fuel left. So not too bad. Put some more fuel in it real quick. And my fridge, which, oh, other side. That one, yes, there we go, raw meat. And I'll need it to be, you know, kept in the fridge, but I'll just put it there because it's convenient. Hardened steel plate, all right. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Yes! Oh, yes! Night vision! I've got night vision! Ha <laughs> ha! And I probably need to take this with me so I don't try to loot it again. Yes, everybody give this stream a like too. Thank you for mentioning that, Excalibur. And, of course, join on the Discord if you haven't done so already. Join in the fun because we do a lot of chatting in there during the week and sharing our designs and everything so if you got a workshop design you'd like to be able to share with everybody you can do so on there we have a channel just for that and here we go two rcs in this spot oh oh no nothing that way i was hoping maybe a little hidden path but nope nothing here Alright, so that's some RCS in there. And yeah, I'm not worried too much about this. I'll come back and drill this out later. For all the thrusters and everything. I'm not really using or needing thrusters that much at the moment. Oh, oh. Alright, so I'm at the front section of this. And of course I can always come up this way to get the thrusters instead. Get myself up off the ground at least. In case something sneaks up on me. So yeah, there we go. Uh I can get up here and get some well, that's not thrusters. I should be able to get to the thrusters in here. Uh maybe not. Oh, there we go. There's a thruster. I'll go ahead and we'll salvage this, see what we get. Ah, neodymium, cobalt. Yes, that's going to be a good resource for some supplies like that. Scoot around a little bit looking for more exposed thrusters. Uh, I know there's some like buried in the ground, probably, or usually. I just want a lot of supplies so I can make stuff. Yeah, I've noticed as well, uh, John, it's like, or, uh, is it Bane Ape? Yes, I've noticed as well, some of these, uh, bases hit hard now against some of the vehicles. That's why I think they changed it around a bit since they added in the, uh, repair to blueprint or you know to a save state type thing making it easier to recover lost pieces from a design but at the same time I still prefer to stick with using cheap designs that I can easily just replace completely two hidden containers middle way of elevator to command tower okay First, I'm going to try to get up in here, though. What? Take one of these out. Alright. Jetpack, recharge. And, of course, I hit something. Alright. 
J. Randall has a new early start Scarab variant. I'll have to take a look at that, but I don't think J. Randall needs me to look at his designs all that much. He gets plenty of uh, stuff happening on his own. And I see what happened. That's why I couldn't make it. A little bit of glass hitting there. Bumping my head over and over. Oh, his entry for the design. Okay. For the creator challenge. All right. I will. I'll have to ask him about that. If it is, then I'll definitely be featuring it. Because, yes, and thanks for bringing that up, Excalibur. Because next week will be the look at the design challenge stuff. Because next week is the last Saturday of this month. So we need to be taking the opportunity to look at all the designs made for the creator challenge of a cheap but upgradable HV something that you know as much functionality and to as little resource cost as possible oh and there's nothing up here all that and I, I was sure there'd be something up there well not that way all right midway elevator uh, ah there we go is that that it that's not a cargo box Okay. No cargo box there. Said midway up the elevator. I'm not seeing cargo boxes. Hidden containers. Are they hidden behind parts of the elevator? Like in the wall? Move the still blocks. And that's one one trial real quick. Round loot containers, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Well. Ah, there we go. Projectile pistol and copper cobalt. Force field mirror blocks, okay. Uh, nothing else here, so I'm... Oh, and look, there's a nice opening right here to it. Alright, that means... Other side, too. My food level getting low. I'm about to have to go eat as well. I mean, in the game, not... not I'm ditching the stream to go eat. Don't, don't worry, we're going to keep going for a while. Oh, another set of night vision goggles. I wish you could actually dump them in to the factory and get some kind of supplies out of them, but you can't. Still blocks. I don't need those. I really don't need the projectile pistol. Yes, okay, I'm good on those. So, I think that's enough for now right here. I'll get the rest later on when I'm not going to be boring everyone on the stream doing so and uh, also when I can use a multi-tool turret alright let's dump in all of this and get a good look at what all I've retrieved put those there so, solar plant, uh, panel blocks, which means I can add a little bit more to my current setup. Power coil, which is awesome. Uh, a little restroom, a little zascosium, two night vision goggles, you know, wood planks, which really, yeah, really don't need that. Sathium, got the jetpack boost, that's, that's going on right now. That is going on over here, and... I'm not sure about the EVA. Not really going to help me right here. Uh, but yes, there we go. Highlander, sorry that you don't get to watch them. I guess, you know, work, school, stuff like that does get in the way. And hi, Eric Fernandez. Thank you for uh, joining. Yes, Electric Sheep. Uh, normally, I would choose for the factory. 
I did have a design that I used for a long time and it's no longer usable. So normally now what I do is throw in uh, the Percy's carrier because it's such a massive design and cost, you know, as far as building it. So it's easy for me to throw everything in there and just be done with it. But right now I don't have that much production going, so not much need to do that. Let's go ahead and empty what I've got of this. 15! Yay! 15! And I think I'm going to take that out anyway. I'm not producing anything at the moment. Using iron. Alright. So, we got sidetracked. I'm actually supposed to be going towards the front part of the Titan for the little storyline thing and... Yeah, let me get rid of this before I get stuck on it as well. Come on. Very stubborn tree here. There we go. I am in the Drill Pup by Excalibur, who is in the chat with us, uh, Bane Ape. It is pretty cheap, I mean, you know, for early game vessel and get the Harvester module, you get drills i did actually consider using uh your uh, oh, what was it not that one the micro pup for the wall but it doesn't have drills and i really want to get away from having to manually drill everything out at scal so i, I ended up just saving up and building this but we're using one of excalibur's designs again and uh it works great you know for my needs Ah, Titan, yes, weapon fire damage, okay, weathered hull looks like it has crashed here years or decades ago, strange. Okay, so it looks like it crashed here decades ago, so either the weather has taken a really big toll on it, or uh, some kind of time distortion thing where it crashed years ago, and it actually did crash years ago. <laughs> make use of the detector if they're not close by. Well, guess what? They're already close enough by. I found them all. So, uh, kind of done with that. A little too late. Tell me I need to find the other parts. Let's see. This is a lot like the one that I found another run through this where I just walked in and it was like right there. But I think... This is the one like it did last time. They moved it, and it's way down and buried. I'm going to go ahead and eat, too. Uh, yeah, because we've got the grow plots again. So this is the one where it's all buried way down in the ground, I believe. Uh, yeah, that's... I'm pretty sure this is... Oh, wait, no. Oh, they moved it. They moved it. <laughs> Here we go. That was easy. Oh, so easy. And you know what? I'm going to save this. I can get the growing plots later when I can actually salvage them completely. Uh, we'll take you, though. Give me some good resources right there. Uh, see, anything else around pieces of thrusters or something like that? Hardened steel blocks. Uh, let's see. Come on, thrusters. Oh, oh, there we go. There's one. Nicely exposed. Alright, so that's some good resources there. Let's see. If I remember right, I may have to go inside and dig around a bit because I think there are some cargo boxes along the side there. Or as I get some of these bits to up because they're quite similar in certain cases. Oh, and I'm tired again. Oh yeah, let's let's eat the cheese. Oh, and I got another detector. So I've got two detectors. Unfortunately, they do not stack. Alright, let's see. Uh, 
Nothing else exposed over here, so I'll have to do some drilling. Okay. Well, that can wait till I have a better setup for dismantling. So now I've just got to find the Titan mid part, which means all I got to do is drive around to it, and that's it. Yes, I need a multi-tool, but I also need a way to produce enough fuel for it, which means I need a lot of Promethium. And right now, I don't even have any indication of where Promethium deposit is, so they need to really change that. I think the multi-tool, the tier one, should be biofuel based. Okay. Low energy current on a container or locker on one end of the wreckage. What? I'm being attacked, I think. Yeah, I'm being attacked. My hover vessel's being attacked by spiders. Because I turned off the, uh, the shooting predators thing, so. Let's see, where are you? Somewhere down there. You know what? Oh yeah, I gotta turn on the helmet. Now I got my night vision. Let's see. Uh, guess, well, I kinda wanna go down this way, but I'm afraid to get stuck. Not being able to jump back up. All right, so we got some containers there. Uh, Oh, okay, so I've got this right here. Oxygen station. Not seeing the core anywhere. Just readily visible. So I guess we are going in like this. I'll just find a way back up later. Oh, oh, drill. Tier 2 drills. Uh, two tier 2 drills. Okay. Guess that helps that I can, uh. Can, uh, use one till it's empty and then switch to the other one, if, assuming they both have fuel in them. Oh, the spiders got stuck. At least two of them did. Ah, he got stuck too. And apparently I'm having trouble targeting him for looting. Alright. Well, there goes the spiders. Oh, oh. Ha! <laughs> I just happened to walk by and look what I found. The core. Guess I'll have to do this because I'm running low on my ammo for <laughs> the, the assault rifle. Cannot damage the target with this weapon. Okay, so I can't get to the core there. Well, then. I get to it here. Yes, okay, I can get to it here, I guess. I know, I think last playthrough, somebody mentioned it was supposed to be right here by the pillars, and it wasn't. So, I, I see what we're starting to find is there's certain locations that it alternates between on different playthroughs for everybody. All right. This is the one, I believe, if I was to dig down here, there would be, yes, containers on each side. Let's see what we get from these. Ah, oh, another drill charge. And I need to drill down a bit so I can get low enough. I cannot salvage it for full parts right now, Tactician, because I do not have a multi-tool I have just the survival tool and that will not salvage full parts that only strips it to the components which is fine with me because anything I salvage really is gonna just be dumped right into the factory in the end anyway all right that's all those I hear more spiders it's off 
to the side. They cannot come this way. I'm looking. I'm still looking for energy current. So maybe that's the containers over here somewhere. Hearing. I don't know if it's like a change in the rock grinding sound or if it's something else like almost a thundering type sound in a way and it's only like like when I turn my head a certain way it uh it it happens then you know all right I will use the new drill so yes okay I've got this. I'm gonna actually drain this one and then use the other one so I can uh, save the drill charges that I've obtained right now for a minute. I don't want to burn through my existing drill charges for this because I doubt I'm gonna get very much out of this in the end with these containers. The tier one drill I could keep adding more and more because I have biofuel I've got some being produced right now on the uh, drill pup just don't have anything for producing the drill charges right now all right yeah oh multi-charge so I have I oh no drill charge okay Oh, oh, I am out of space. I am out of space. So back up to the drill pup. All right. Oh, oh, nope. Want that back. There we go. And. Oh, wait. It, it's this side, yes. Uh, ah! Come on, I just want to open the fridge. There we go. Like that. I hear more spiders again. Alright. Uh, more Promethean pellets. The restroom is as cozy. A little bit, not much. Okay, yes, those emptied out. Alright, you say thruster towards this side, so I'll look a little bit further. I do still have the other drill that I can swap to when this runs out. I missed one. I missed a cargo box. Oh, yes, I missed one thing in the cargo box. Oh, another cargo box. Yeah, okay, so I missed a little bit of stone dust. Let's go this way, see if it's over here. All right, this looks like this is where the thruster should be. And it's kind of got the spot for it to be placed here. That magnesium? Oh yeah, okay, some magnesium powder. Got a little magnesium powder, not much. And uh, uh nope, still block. Uh, okay, it's got be yeah, it's got to be somewhere over here, right? Yeah, thruster. You know this this end of the the structure. I'm not even worried about that right now. I just want to uh, get this checklist thing taken care of. All right, it said at one end or the other.
Move the cargo box and you find the thruster. Okay. What about the one, the cargo box I'm supposed to find with the electric current thing? Because I'm not finding that. Where the core was. Okay. I will go back that way in just a moment. Uh, okay, assuming that maybe it is further back. Still block. Quest line is broken at the moment because of a spelling mishap. That kind of uh, puts a damper on things. And I am low on uh, stamina now, so yeah, let's go. Let's look for this where the core was. I see. Ah, oh, capacitor, deco, is that. Yes, there we go. Table. Another jetpack boost. And a mobility boost. Listening for any spiders sneaking around the side. Uh. Well, not seeing any bots. So, quest line is bugged. Well, that's no fun. Means, uh, we're not going to be going further on it today or anytime soon. And it's interesting, you know, looking, it actually says that it's, uh, it's checked. Let's just, you know, uh, I mean, no, I'm not seeing anything. Go check what it is. Yes, I checked it. I mean, maybe I'm, I still gotta go to the back part again and have it just say, oh yeah, you, you found the back part too. I hear a spider right on the other side of the wall. There we go. There's the thruster on this side. The bug was titan when it should have been titan. Somebody was having fun with that. I don't think that's much of a typo. All right, so that was like on that side. Let's go over here and look on this side for the same. There we go. Another thruster. That should be enough for now. Task date or date say, data not found. Yeah, it's. Either something's messed up or something, you know, maybe I got it out of order because I did go to the back part first, but it still doesn't show like the mid part and back part checked properly, so yeah, uh, I think we're just going to have to skip it for now. We'll go, I don't know, maybe after I save and reload later on, it'll be working properly. All right, so that is everything I have looted so far from these. Uh, kind of need to get some food going, too. Got plenty of salami still and plenty of raw meat. Just nothing 
No spice at the moment. Of course, I hear spiders all around me again. I do like the uh, improved visual range. This is really good showcase of the visual improvements they've done with the Alpha 8. Because you can see there, nice and clear in the distance. You know, it feels much more open, especially with the lighting coming off the, the moonlight there. But, see how my, uh, my fuel production is going. 28, and I'm, I'm flipping. For some reason, I didn't turn thrusters on, and I just suddenly start flipping all over the place. So, yeah, let's just, I guess, go this way. Now, I know where they are. If I have to, I'll come back. I'll go over here and see if it'll let me discover this again. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't want to use the those guns. All right, it is not discovering this. Yeah, nothing, nothing. So I guess let's head back to the base. Restart does not help and you did it in the correct order. Okay, then we're just gonna treat it as it's a bug, just kind of like the way the orientation works when you first place your core or your cockpit because right now it looks like I'm heading away from it but I'm actually heading towards something and I want to see better we'll do this we'll go with the night vision for the moment all right we've got something actually it's gonna be this way and oh ah there it goes that way so wait no no this way that way so i've got stuff to my right and to the front also haven't heard any more alerts for drones at this point i would think playing for this long i should have had another drone alert Come on, you stubborn tree. Move. There you go. All that for two wood logs. Yeah, let's just go ahead and say head back towards Sanctuary Base. If I can not, you know, flip over repeatedly. And just see. I need to get more biofuel production going anyway there and on this. Too many trees in my way. Uh. I think uh, we're about to have some good daylight, so I might be able Yeah, go ahead and switch that off. I've only encountered a couple of those uh, gluteus plasmicus bugs, as we are calling them, since starting this. I really haven't been seeing them that much in the forest areas which is unusual you know last playthrough experimental they were all over the place at night and now I'm not running into them at all at night oh I think I'm pick yeah I'm picking up that iron deposit same one again
Now, I should have a good bit of logs now for this. So we are going to, yeah, just fast track at this point back to the sanctuary. Yeah, the spiders were all over the place before. Uh, and, but, you know, they weren't, like, hurting you or doing anything like that. They were just kind of doing some stuff, you know, hitting you maybe once in a while. Just chasing you, scaring you when you were least expecting it. Now it's like they actually damage you and can, you know, attack you normally. You just don't see as many of them. That's why I had to go hunting for alien bugs. I had to go, like, just go out with the bike, driving around looking for them so I could get enough to help me level up to uh, 10 so I could make this. All right. I'm going to dock. I'm actually going to just go ahead and cut everything on this rather than worry about letting it sit here and keep making more stuff uh more biofuel that and that there we go that that's enough okay and as much as i can take out of that Then we'll keep the other drill with me for a little while. Just because I can use that tier 2 drill to speed things up a bit. And yeah, my regular salt rifle. Oh, there we go. Some more drones finally coming for me. Put that there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got... Oh, oh. Factory, yes, there we go. Plenty of those I can dump in. Here we go. We're gonna dump in all of this, all these goodies. Not that one. That. Not that. There we go. And half for you. Half for you. Oh, that biofuel I've got now. And, uh,. You know, wait about the EVA boost. Save that one. Save that one. You know what? Yeah. And I will take this for a moment. I'm about to make use of that. Alright. So that's all of it. We got three more drones on the way. Means more resources for me. Uh, see, maybe I can, you know, recycle that. Oh, wait, wait, not the refined. I don't need the refined in there. Yes, okay, so... Put these here, put those for now. That I can't dump into the factory at all. And this can go in here. Oh, with this? Yes! Alright. And, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to uh, grab those. Forgot I put those in there before we left. Uh, all right, so I've got those ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna do anything. I don't think we'll do another jetpack boost. That can help me out for now. All right. Uh, here's what we do. We're gonna do this, not that. Uh, I need to place it outside. I'll put this right here for now. I'm gonna go ahead and dump some. Uh, logs in on that so it can be making me some biofuel as well here at the base speed things up a little bit more without draining on the base as it was mentioned instead of carrying it with me and worrying about it I'm just gonna leave it sitting here this way I know where it is let me check my fuel level here my water generators almost out finally we got plenty of water jugs now from that 
Oh yeah, plenty of water jugs. Now, time for some durians to be planted. Uh, that way, there we go. And... There we go. There we go. Alright. So I've got a full set of food plants going now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One whole side of food production. And everything else medicinal, whatever can be the other side. So... Make a bunch of canned vegetables. There. Let's see, that was the one I was just using. Yes, okay. There we go. Alright, let's get this all out. That's empty. That's pretty much empty. We'll do that. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So, four hours here. We're going to do this, do this, because this does have solar power. That helps. And we'll put the rest into the drill pup. And there's the first drone showing up, finally. This should give me plenty of fuel for a while in this. Look at that. Almost halfway full. And one drone down. Alright, let's go pick up some supplies, see what we get from these this time. More Promethium, actually this, I'll just treat this as the way I farm Promethium packs because I'm getting plenty of them this way. Base attack, attack drones not spawning until you get 50 meters of the base. That has not happened here, Jet Set. I, I mean, I am nowhere near the base. I have not found the base. But it's been spawning non-stop since I built the base. Here, so I really don't... I, I don't think that's the case. Or at least, that's not how it's acting now. Oh, my base. Oh, so unless you're in 50 meters of your base, they don't spawn. Oh. Means I need to stay home a lot more, right? Because, I mean, that's some good supplies right there. Look at that. Steel plate, computer, electronics, nanotubes, some fuel packs. Of course, tons of these minigun rounds that I do not use. Look at that. Gave me some more supplies there. All right. So, Sathium and Cobalt is going to be my biggest problems on this i right, let that go. I think that's about to be finished. Let's see, how much Sathium did I get? Eight. And some hardened steel plate. So yeah, I need to get a point of interest. I need to take out one POI. So I can... Uh, go and loot it for hard and steel plate, I guess. I mean, I could technically go do that for the for the crashed capital vessel there. I'm gonna get some more production going for this. There we go. Look at that. So plenty of power, some biofuel being made. I really don't know where I want to put these solar panel blocks. We've got a multi-charge. I have not received a multi-tool yet, but I do believe I already uh, unlocked it. Yes, I unlocked the main one, so I can make a multi-tool. Full harvest is 12 cans of vegetables per cycle. Yes, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then another six there. So that's 12 cans of vegetables per full growth cycle which is kind of the idea I was going for I mean that should be 
more than enough in the way of food production for this, I suspect. And that's just one side. I still have the other side. Uh, and, of course, I have extra veggies right here. I could probably go yeah, dump in these as well, get some more spice in there, get my food up with the salami. There we go. We'll get some more going that way. So now I just got to figure out what I want to do on this side. I need to put some more grow plots in and figure out what I want to do in terms of plant layouts in them. But I guess since I can make it and I'll probably need one soon anyway, we'll go ahead and make a multi-tool. Just so I can carry it with me. Have that one multi-charge. I might have enough Promethean to make another multi-charge. Maybe. Actually not. And I don't have enough to make anything. So let me guess. This is going to be like... Yes, no ammo. No ammo at all. So hopefully I find some more multi-charge packs somewhere. Because otherwise I am not going to be doing anything with that. We'll go ahead and just do this. Uh, let's see. So drones are coming this way. I feel like I want to go find the base. I want to go look for the drone base. And actually might take a little bit. I don't think so. It should be fairly close. Considering, I mean, I'm... It takes only a few minutes for them to get here. So I'll assume that the drones are fairly close by to me. But yeah, let's go look for the drone base. See if we can at least find where it is. Oh, I'm not getting that with a one minute gap between them. But if that was the case, I'd be happy because I'll just be... Loading up as much as I could in the way of resources to, or, you know, getting tons of resources from the drones and doing as much as I could to make more bullets for my turrets and let them just do all the hard work for me. I go out there, collect drone after drone, or, you know, build like a little sentry tower type base out there in the distance and just let it sit there and kill them all. Now I'm going to gather up a bunch more uh, wood logs, too. 42 watching and 20 likes. Excalibur, you tell them. You tell them they need to go like this video. Like the stream. Like the stuff on the channel. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Follow me on Twitch. Different games on Twitch, but follow me there because you might like the air stuff I do. And let's see. My, yeah, I'm still going the right direction. i got... Triceratops. Let's test this out. Let's see how he responds to being drilled into. Oh, he don't like it. He does not like it. <laughs> I got him, and I'm level fifth, uh, level eleven, fifty-five extra points. <laughs> well, I found my new way to kill all the dinosaurs. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're going to go this way. Uh. I review at Scowl's work because he does a great job with it. That's, that's the secret there. He does a good job with his designs. Just like... Jay Randall does a great job with his designs, and, you know, I like their designs. I like covering designs that I find useful, find interesting. But I do realize they do get a lot of coverage on the channel, so I'm trying to find some other people to cover again. And, of course, I do accept submissions for the, uh, you know, creator requests and stuff. Just like Danielle don't submitted a request not for one of her own but for Holnar's and oh yay spiders all right come here I want <laughs> I want to get them with this 
Come on, I want to see them die from my harvester module. <laughs> That'd be just too fun. Oh, apparently, it's not going to work. Oh, that would be nice, but it didn't seem like I could hit them quite right. All right, so yeah, we're going still in the same dire general direction. And because of my orientation thing with that little bug, it should be something in this direction. Harvester hovering about one meter. I think when I was landing on top of them face down with it, that should also count as hitting a one meter spot with them right there. All right, there's got to be a drone bay somewhere in this area. I mean, this has got to be the direction they're coming from. Or somewhere around here is where they're coming from. Oh, copper deposit. So apparently that is the one I was uh, detecting. Now I'm getting a bunch of lag again. Rendering lag. Now I'm not seeing anything on the detector. Let's go up the little cliff side here. Let me get like a good viewpoint. If I can, it might be too uh, covered up with trees this way. All right, let's see. Still nothing on the detector. I see a big mountain in the distance. We got a nice large mountain over that way. We're heading still in this direction, so yeah, I'm assuming that's the same mountain from there. Got that one. I know there's an alien tower that way. I feel like somewhere over here has got to be the drone base, because they keep coming from the same direction over and over. So it's not like it's a random spawn, like, oh, hey, just you know, spawn from this spot over here. Uh, some parasaurs. A little bit. Of, oh, oh, oh. I think it's just trees, but it had an interesting shape. Or maybe I'm close enough now. I'm seeing the. Oh, yeah, it's just trees. It's just the way they're rendering right there. Look kind of like the bridge section for the. Titan. All right, so we're we're going so we're going this way. It's got to be somewhere in this area that I will find the drone base. They're just too close for it not to be somewhere around here. A uh, nice, very thick forest. Tons of trees here. This is where you need like a hover vessel with a very wide set of harvester modules. Just like a, you know, like a combine, I think is what it's called. You know, harvesting corn, wheat, something like that. Just super wide, just drive along and just hit every tree in a path. And just collect as much as you can in the way of wood logs. Okay, got something now on the detector. This could be it. I still don't think so. Oh, we got something else over that way too. Keep going this way and then we'll we'll go to the right there. We'll go back north. Oh, I flipped. I went too fast, I guess, and uh, just kind of nudged the tree root. Okay, big water 
space now. Oh, oh, okay. So it's one this way, technically south. Even though it says I'm facing north, I'm really facing south again. Greetings, Mercurius. Glad you enjoyed the game. It's a fun game. I'm still in development, still very early. In the, well, not early in development anymore. It's been going for a while. They put in quite a bit of work on it. Somewhere I'm going to find the drone base in here. I, I'm sure of it. It's got to be this way because they're attacking from this direction. And more glitching as it tries to render. Okay, and apparently I have lost one of my detection items. Oh, there we go. Old tower. Old tower. So we're going to check out the old tower over here. Let's see what we find with it. Let's see if it's the alien tower or is it a you know man-made tower? It looks more like it would be a man-made tower. All right, yeah, old, old tower. There you go. I got tired of trying to slowly lower down to ground level. Yeah, it's like a like a watchtower. I don't think we're gonna get much here. And also, <laughs> I don't see it having a core. Oh, a bench for stamina recovery. How wonderful! It's a lookout tower. That's all it is. Is for somebody to come here. And look. No core at all. I'm just going to take it apart right now. Actually, this is kind of the perfect setup. I can dismantle stuff using up my stamina for this and then sit down and recover stamina. At least until I take out the little, you know, benches. So now, you know, it's just steel blocks. It's not hardened steel blocks. But it's some supplies, at least. <sighs> ah, recovering my stamina. There we go. Yeah, that, that can be taken care of later with a multi-turret. And I really don't need the supplies as bad, but I can still use them. All right, so now back towards the coastline because there was, yes, I've got another blip on the screen now. We're just gonna go this way north. Yes, yeah, steel plate cans for vegetables, but you know, I've got steel plate back at the base already. I've got a bunch of small wrecks all around that area too I can go and get so it's not going to help me as much right now much prefer to find a good point of interest you know radar station power station something like we found in the experimental stage and harvest out it you know take it apart because I get so much more stuff out of that besides just what I loot from the containers Oh, oh, vehicle port. Okay, so. Oh, and they're already shooting at me. I just discovered them. They're already shooting at me. All right, well, there's... <laughs> there's something. It's not the drone base, but it's, you know... It's there. It's a, it's a point of interest I can take out with a cheap disposable SV. All right, we're gonna kind of skirt around a bit. It's got, there's something else over there. Should be native villages, civ habitat, and civ mining hub somewhere too. Yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be somewhere. The thing is, 
wear in relative to my base on the planet just because it's such a big planet now there's so much more room for things to be spread out than there used to be all right I'm still going in that direction until it switches and says it's to my side I'm hoping I can avoid the vehicle port shooting at me This is so much faster to get logs with this. Harvester module is so much better for harvesting trees, for wood logs, to make biofuel. Very, very thick forest area. We need some automatic, like, tree harvesting thing. We've got auto miners. Why can't we have an automatic little tree harvesting robot? You know, little, little very special harvesting thing that you just plop it down and it harvests all the trees in a region, uh, you know, in that area. Like a circular area. You just sit there and let it go be so great you know later in the game harvesting trees for still making biofuel just because it's cheaper and very replenishable <laughs> you know I've noticed Danielle seems to be awfully quiet today normally she is one of the more talkative ones are you okay Danielle I know you said hi earlier, but I'm not seeing you chatting as much. Something should be getting fairly close. Oh. Okay. I mean, I'm heading in. This keeps throwing me off on the, the radar flipping around as being backwards. I am <laughs> I'm way out here now. Good thing I've got plenty of power left. And I'm making more as I go. Uh, I have not played Osiris New Dawn yet still, uh, Jet Set, but yes, a uh, robot that can harvest trees automatically. And, oh, a desert! We actually have a desert biome in here. Awesome, it looks like an actual desert. Not like, you know, just there's no plants anywhere. Hey, Mr. Gollum. Oh, I didn't have enough shots in it right then. There we go. Alright, we got one desert golem. It looks like there's a decent little area here for this desert. Doesn't look like it's just a super small area. Ah, uh, Sathium ore. That's somewhat helpful oh, what, what we got here look at rocks oh just plain rock okay oh you uh what are you I don't recognize this thing Alien worm. They redid the alien worms. Whoa! No! What the? I shot him once. He hit me like twice and I'm dead. 
wow that that uh yeah i'm gonna say that was uh that that's maybe a little op right there that that was literally like i mean what one second and i was dead Like, that was no time at all. You know, I should have actually, instead of taking everything out at once, I should have just put this stuff in the toolbar and then picked it all up. We'll do that. Sorry, I, I just like to keep things fairly organized. There we go, like that. Yeah, I am not messing with you, buddy. You, you are on the uh, protected species list. God, that, uh, used to, you know, pick on the desert worms like they were nothing, and now <laughs> I'm not even gonna mess with that guy. Oh, that was, like, bad. I mean, the golem. This guy right here. Nothing compared to that. And, oh, I just got a really big thunderstrike there, so, uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on my connection. Hopefully we don't have a disconnect like last week, but if I do, then I apologize now. Uh, this is definitely a good opportunity for my internet to end up getting dropped out or lose power. I mean, that even with my uh, headphones on, that was enough. I could feel it and it startled me. So yes, if I do get disconnected, I apologize. Uh, and I will catch up with you on the discord server afterwards instead we'll just call it an end instead of doing two different streams which is apparently all it will let me do on youtube if that happens oh that was that was very startling uh, a little silicon all right uh yeah that's that was uh that, that startled me for a second all right Let's see, we need to, I don't know, I kind of want to go back, but I also like the idea we found a desert biome. I, I want to keep exploring a bit and get away from these uh, desert worms there. We got eggplant parts. I like that. Or that's, it doesn't even, it's vegetable, that's right. They changed, no more eggplant parts, it's just vegetables. Oh, some raptors. Got some raptors there. Uh, like this, you know, good mix of water pockets and, you know, little like savanna, yeah, yeah, it's a savanna biome. Alright, uh... Yes, let's go to the top of the mountain. Let's let's go do some mountain climbing. 